Welcome back to Character Drawing, Part 2. In this, we're going to take a look at drawing the eyes, the mouth, looking at how to work with layers. So let's get started. The first thing is, is that you should have a character that is one shape now. We can tell if we do by focusing on our layers. So let's take a minute and look at layers. With our layers, labeling them, and learning how they work. So in the first layer, we're going to call it Octo. Octo will be the name of my character. As I click on the shape, notice that I have a square that lights up. This lets me know what layer and what object I have selected. It's blue because this layer is blue. Now I'm going to call this layer body. Now let's focus on the eyes. So I'm going to draw a oval for the back of my eye. And I want to add a little bit of shading. So in this case, I'm going to come up to my fan, click on the blue, and let's go to a darker shade, maybe a purple. OK. Now, my next eye, holding down that shift, is going to be white. Now I've just drawn my circle and added a gradient, but I don't want the black and white gradient. It's too heavy. So I'm going to go to my color guide. I'm going to drag down a light blue. Now my shading is going to be darker at the bottom and lighter at the top. Now I need to get my pupil. And in this case, I want to take a black and I want to shade it to a dark blue. And now I need to come up with a white dot. This one is going to be just a white dot. And I'm going to zoom in more. I'm going to do a smaller one. Holding down that shift. And I would like that to be a blue. Might pick up the same. Let's group them. Now it's in a group, and I'm going to call this eyes. And I can readjust the size of my eyes. There we go. A couple things we want to do with the mouth. I want to copy it with the Alt key. And in this case, doesn't matter what color I'm using for this outside. I'm going to make sure I use my alignment tool so it's exactly in the center. OK, now that we have our eyes drawn, let's move on to the mouth. So with the mouth, we are going to copy and paste the zork. But any shape that you have already drawn the mouth works well. I want to just move it down so the curve part Gives me more of a mouth shape. I'm going to copy it by holding down the Alt key. Now I'm going to go get one of my simple ellipse shapes. And this is for a shading. I'm going to bring it fairly tight up. I'm going to select both objects. And I'm going to minus the front. Now that I have my mouth, I'm going to go to my Alt key. And here I need to draw the teeth. 
and a great technique for drawing the teeth is I'm going to go with my shapes tool and I'm going to draw one of my teeth and let's go with the gray color Select tool, Alt for either side. Select all the teeth. Go into your line. Divide them equally. Select everything and then go back to the Pathfinder and divide it. Now I'm going to click on A. So now I'm in my Select tool and I can delete the areas. Careful that you don't, you make sure you get. All right, now I'm going to select the areas that I don't need. V tool, and I can just move them straight down for my teeth. Now let's make our teeth white, I mean our mouth white. Move our gradient up. Move everything over. And now we have really now <clears throat> and now we have created our mouth and our eyes. But I want to make sure that my mouth is one sh is all grouped. So I'm going to group it coming over to my layers and I'm going to name it mouth. Now you're done. We're going to come back and add a gradient to the mouth and a gradient to the background and add a few more details to our octo in the next tutorial.